Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the associative property. So for the first few pages, you're going to take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right. So what exactly do we mean by the associative property? Well, under the word associative, I want you to write the word group. All right. This property is all about regrouping numbers. All right. So the first property we're going to talk about is called the associative property of addition. All right. And basically the rule states that you're allowed to add regardless of how the numbers are grouped. Okay. And this is for addition only. So let's say, for example, we have uh, the number, say, 2 plus 3 plus 7. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite that as 2 plus 3 plus 7. All right. And according to order of operations, I would have to do 2 plus 3 first and get 5, and then add 7 and get 12. All right. But because all we're doing is adding, what we're allowed to do is we're allowed to add a grouping symbol or parentheses, okay, to two, any two of the digits. And now that's going to force us to add 3 plus 7, which is uh, 10, and then add the 2, and that will give us the same answer as 12. All right. So really, why learn this? Okay. This is going to be really helpful uh, later on when you learn about algebra. Okay. But one big reason is it saves time. It takes problems that are kind of complex and can make them a lot easier. So here's an example of how. Let's say, for example, we have uh, I don't know, 3 sevenths plus 3 fourths plus 1 fourth. Okay, I want to add these three fractions. Well, I could do 3 sevenths plus 3 fourths, or I get common denominators, right? Rewrite the fractions and add them. Okay, and according to order operations, that's what I have to do. But notice three fourths and one fourth, well, we know that already adds up to one, right? Okay. And then one plus three sevenths is going to be one and three sevenths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add parentheses here. And now I can actually add three fourths and one fourth. So three fourths and one fourth is one. And then one plus this three sevenths gives us one and three sevenths. Now write that over here. That's going to be our, our answer. All right. So really important, okay, the associative property of addition only works for just addition um, operations. So let's write down only works for addition operations. All right, if you have any other type of operation in there, it does not work. So here's the example one uh, that would not work. Let's say if we have um, eight, take away four uh, plus seven, all right? So because we have the subtraction sign here, okay, we can't do the associative property of addition. All right, let's turn the page. And let's now talk about the associative property of multiplication, all right? And this is very similar to the associative property of addition where it talks about uh, grouping symbols. So here's the rule. It says the associative property of multiplication says that the grouping of factors can uh, be changed without changing the product. All right, so basically what that means is, let's say if we have uh, two times four times, say seven, all right? Now, I'm not gonna move the numbers around, so I'm gonna re rewrite the same numbers. So two times four times seven, but because all we're doing is just multiplying, if I want to, I could put parentheses around the four and seven and do that first, and then multiply it by the two. All right, so again, this only works only when you're multiplying. All right, so again, why I learned this? Okay, this saves time. Saves time. And here's an example how. Let's say if I have, uh, I don't know, 3.5 times 2 times 5. All right, and this is still kind of a basic problem, but according to operations, I would have to do 3.5 times 2. All right, get that number, and then times it by 5. Well, I'd rather just multiply two times five first, because I knew two, two times five is 10, and then 10 times 3.5, I know is gonna be 35 as our answer, all right? Now, really important, okay, this property only works for just multiplication, all right? So just multiplication. All right, there's no such thing as the associate property of subtraction, or the associate property of division. All right, so let's do a few more problems together. So down here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna identify, okay, the associate property of addition, but we're gonna circle the equations, 
and then we're going to box in the examples of the associative property of multiplication. So here we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 1 plus 2 plus 3. So again, notice that the numbers, the order of the numbers did not change, right? But the parentheses was added right here. So I know for a fact this is going to be the associative property of addition. Um, right down here, 5 plus 6 plus 13 equals 5 plus 6 plus 13. But noticing I added the parentheses to the 6 and 13. So that's another associative property of addition. All right. Here we have 1 fourth times 2 thirds times 3 halves equals 1 fourth times 2 thirds times 3 halves. And again, I added a parentheses. So this is an example of the associative property of multiplication. Here we have 22 minus 5 minus 7 equals 22 uh, minus, in parentheses, 5 minus 7. And because we're talking about subtraction here, okay, this is neither the associative property of addition or multiplication. And then finally, we have 10 times 2 times 3 equals 10 times 2 times 3. And we have parentheses here. So this is an example of the associative property of multiplication. All right. So now that you understand a little more about the associative property, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do with these practice problems. So here you had to identify um, the associative property of addition by circling the equations. And then you had to box in the examples of the associative property of multiplication. So here we end up having two that were the associative property of addition and two that were the associative property of multiplication. And again, one important thing to remember, okay? The order of these numbers do not change around, all right? So here we have 8, 51, and 9, and then 8, 51, and 9. Here we have negative 14, 6, and 4, and negative 14, 6, and 4. Same thing for these up here. 9, 20, and 5, 9, 20, and 5. The only thing that changes is that we add parentheses okay, to one of the expressions. All right, how'd you do?